guys, check out some more poor Mopar. Um, today, for your viewing viewing pleasure, I'm gonna do a uh, some work on my son's uh, 01 Dodge Ram 1500 four wheel drive standard cab pickup with 200,000 miles. It's got the 5.2 liter 318. Um, we've been through this truck. Everything needed to be done got done. You know, ball joints, bushings. All kinds of stuff you might do on a 150 60 000 mile truck he's driven the hell out of it uh we got some gen 3 wheels with i think they're 285 70s we'll look when it gets here tires on it uh, it's a it's a tall 33 or a short 34 inch tire not real big i've got them on my truck anyway so he gets some uh what do you call it? death death wobble with that thing on occasion which really shocks me because we did that to my truck. My middle boy went and did that with his truck. Same tires, I mean, um, and no problem. So anyway, uh, the steering stabilizer is a bracket that goes between the frame rails in the front to keep the, uh, the front frame horns, you know, together. Uh, and then you put a adapter on the end of your pitman that goes through a bearing that's on there. Uh, yeah, these frames tweak. I mean, the steering on these trucks absolutely blows. Uh, there is an upgrade. Guys will do a Gen 3 upgrade, and I never did on my truck because I didn't know about it. And then I spent money on tie rod ends in the first place. So I got to move some cars around here and uh, bring it in and get to getting on the thing. Um, oh, I've got a uh, email address now. It's h o h of m1937 at gmail.com. It'll be in the link below all the time. It's House of Mopar, obviously. In 1937 is when Mopar got started. All right. Anyway, that's what it is. And uh, here we go. Well, here it is. My son's truck. An 01 Dodge Ram 1500 with the mighty 5.2 liter 318. And uh, <clears throat> Texas truck. She's okay. The bedside's a little wrinkly. Um, these are the tires. I forget what the hell these are. They're Coopers. I like Coopers. They're uh, 285 70s. Have them on my truck, and my other boy had them on his truck before he sold it. I this thing wanders. These trucks, the steering sucks. They have a third gen upgrade. I never did it on my big truck. Found out about it after I put a bunch of money into it. So this is a steering stabilizer. Um, it goes where the sway bar is. And uh, to pull the pitman arm, it comes down through there. And I didn't remember I bought the uh, steering shock absorber. This goes on the end of your pitman through there. And uh, oh, that's really, this goes on the end of the pitman through there and uh, the rest. I don't know who makes this hellbent steel. I think this big bearing goes on to there and uh, this goes through. Anyway, this is not a how-to. This is just the kind of crap I gotta do regularly. Uh, he showed up the other night at 4.30, needing a four-wheel. <laughs> we need to do the brakes all the way around. So we did on his uh, minivan. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you where it is when I get done here. All right. All right, steering stabilizer installed. You know, can you guys see? It's this bracket that goes across, all right? It, these, understand these uh, rails tweak on these trucks. Besides this real shitty triple whatever steering thing they got going on. Um, I know in my truck, it made a difference. So yeah, the, uh, Pitman comes down here. You got that little extension goes into this bearing. Everything's all greased up. It's got a new uh, Stabilizer so this ought to help him with Death wobble, I don't know like I said we've had two trucks that never had any trouble We did everything all the same to all the trucks, you know ball joints bushings You name it. It was done and then this one wobbled so um, what's this? Anyway, um, yeah, so here she is done. Uh, gotta return it. 
It is, uh, did I say 200,000 mile truck? Super solid. My grandson's five, maybe he'll, he and I will restore it someday when he gets bigger. Anyway, um, that's it guys. Yeah, I just did this because that's what I have to do, stuff like that. Uh, I just did a four wheel brake job on his van recently. The Cuda. I've been ciphering on putting AAR stripes on the side, guys. What do you think? Uh, of course, white. Might be a little much. Um, black. Still have the white AAR on there. And then uh, they also make a black one that is, it reflects at like at night. <clears throat> so whatever. Yeah, there's always something. Anyway, um, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, the next one I believe I'm going to be working on the dash on the uh, shop truck. So anyway, that ought to be awesome. Thanks, see you later.